It's four milligram, yes. Um, this is Nicorette white uh, ice mint one. You this want is one? this is good to start on. You're the first wow. guest, other than Jennifer Bradley. Bra- who's bro- what's the name of the power lifter? Bradley. Bradley Martin. Yeah. Isn't that Martin. the only guest other than Bradley Martin to take Nicorette gum from you? Yeah. That's so funny. It's usually so the only people that I know that I interview that routinely are also Nicorette users are are journalists. Got it. <laughs> yeah. It's like Stress. usually usually our guests are you know Twitch streamers and YouTubers and stuff. They don't they don't mess with this kind of thing. Did you smoke? They vape. Yeah, I haven't smoked Same. in years. Oh, good for you. But Same. Congratulations. Yeah, I, I vape. I have I a vapor. You vape, yeah. I was on the four you milligram. Vape, yeah. I downgraded to the two. But whenever I see a four, it's like an extra. It's good. It's, got it's a good like kick. a Pablo Escobar cocaine bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't pass that up. I, I I I go crazy on these. I don't even care. Like I I know it's bad. Probably I'll probably get like mouth cancer or something. But I I've know. never actually I chewed one. That... Do you buzz out when you chew? Nick? No. 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 You just don't go into the DTs for nicotine. Uh, he just feels normal. Delirium tremens. Yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's um. Well, well. First of all, we're doing it again. We we always start impromptu. This is normal. Yeah. That was your call, by I've the way. You it. you have said that that's the way you like to slide like into it. a podcast. I like okay, slamming now it. Now do the intro. <laughs> We have the I've had it, ladies here. Yes, yes, yes. We have. yes. 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 a long time coming. <laughs> um, <laughs> First and foremost, I want to apologize for our producer slave, yeah. mm. Mark. Yes. Mm. <laughs> who, Go on. Who we obviously didn't give enough lashings to. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> because he, you know, dropped the ball a little bit. He really did. This back yeah. and forth communication that was supposed to be happening with you ladies. This isn't picking up on the mic, but the laugh that just came out of Marsh was so <laughs> defeated. <laughs> it was like a, <laughs> Yeah. We're all yeah. beating him well, forever. Ladies, we want to let you know that we were cutting his pay by 50%. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. That's good. No, he's done I feel good about that. Yep. Yeah, I like it. Not. It was Hassan's decision. And we're totally not <laughs> yeah. all blaming him for our negligence no, as well. Yeah, not at all. You know, this is somewhat humiliating for us because we did ban you and we made a boundary that mm. we wouldn't speak to you until you came to Oklahoma City. Yes. Mm. Which is what we call the white girl breakup. Right. Mm. Like, you broke up you with us. You broke us. up with you us. Broke, yep. We're breaking up with you first. Right. Mm. But then we were coming here on tour and we had Kylie reach out to Marsh who jumped through like hoops. You would the not lashes. believe yes. that. Mm. See, we, 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 the beating of Marsh works. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's like, that's, you know, that's how you get happy employees, I think. Mm. Yeah. You, you beat them <laughs> and humiliate them. That's right. Um, no, but to be frank, we are all degenerate gamers and streamers, and we were actually really excited to have you guys on and, and to do the podcast. So we felt really bad when it didn't happen. And mm. I think we all took a good hard look at our organization it, skills. Yeah, at March's, at March's failures. Self reflection. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and we all collectively blame yeah, we were, This is great. This is refreshing because normally I'm the one that gets all the blame. Yes. Yeah. Right. This now is the one instance where you did not objectively fuck up. No, I know, which is <laughs> wonderful. It's yeah. not, we're start. I just got back from vacation, so I'm feeling great about this new year. It's the first podcast I think I've been Your on for the year. entire life is a, co- a sequence of vacations. Don't let me talk about that. You, this is literally the only thing you did that is different Truth is that you didn't show Remember up for two weeks. how I said he didn't like gay people? Yeah. yeah. The reason he didn't add, he also doesn't like women. That's usually, that's <laughs> his number one. That's his <laughs> number two. These yeah. are his platforms. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is what I believe That's what he stands on. This is what I stand <laughs> right. Yeah, this is what I stand for. Anti-women, anti-gay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. You'd fit right into Oklahoma. That's right. Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, Oklahoma is actually a fascinating place that I've been to mm. many times. Mm. Because really? My, yes. Marat. My brother used to yep. live in Oklahoma City. Wow. What did he do? He worked at Boeing. Oh, okay. In the low cost facility. Uh, <laughs> that is what they call it because right. Oklahoma is cheap. There's like tax breaks and subsidies and whatnot. That's where they made the Air Alaska. Um, <laughs> the Alaska Airlines. No, yeah. no, no. He, the that was, yeah. he, he, he's on the, the aerospace side. So he was not uh, related to any of the commercial stuff that Boeing was doing. Ooh. But. Um, yeah, I, I visited him quite a bit, and I'm actually fascinated by Oklahoma City because it was the first time that I realized, because I grew up in Turkey, that I realized that, like, damn, actually, I think people that live in Los Angeles or New York City probably have more in common with uh, someone living in a different city around the world, whether it be Istanbul or whether it be, uh, you know, France or in Paris, uh, than someone living in like Tulsa. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, not wrong. You're yeah. not wrong. 
Because there were so many cities that we went to, cities, there were towns that we went to, there was like <laughs> yeah. three people. Right. Yeah. Like, no traffic. Just crazy stuff. Mm. So yeah. many Walmarts. It's awesome. I love Walmart. Oh, yeah. I love she Walmart. She gives me so much shit about Walmart. Walmart. We went on a field trip to Walmart and, you know, they have regional kiosks set up and there was this. Ki- What's a regional kiosk? So a kiosk <laughs> uh, curated for that region. Really? And at the Walmart in Oklahoma City, the kiosk was like Uber Jesus kiosk. Right. Everything was. And I am oh, not yeah. at all religious at all. And but I that's in the cool as hell. Of so I go to this kiosk and there is a book and it says scientific facts in the Bible. <laughs> it is a quarter of an inch <laughs> thing. <laughs> it was unbelievable. And I'm just looking at it in complete fascination that I live around all of the people that are at this book kiosk going, nailed it. Now that's yeah. science right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's Did science. they intertwine some MAGA merch in there? Oh, oh fuck they, yes. They must have on the Jesus thing. A hundred percent. Well, we were walking out and I was like, Jennifer, there's a woman in a MAGA hat. Yeah. She's like, fucking Walmart. Of course they're it. in a MAGA hat. I hate it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got lots of MAGA lovers. Oh, yeah. I love that. MAGA country. For the record, for sure. <laughs> like no, I, unironically, like that's why I love Oklahoma because <laughs> it's so untapped and pure. I'm fascinated by conservatives in general. I think it's awesome. Very like, entertaining. Yeah, they right. are. Can I quickly just say that I've never been a Walmart person, but I am a Sam's Club guy, yeah, which really? I know is the same. Yeah. Thing. Well, Sam's Club is the Costco of Walmart. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is yeah. it a little higher class? No. no, I no. would say yes. I would say yes. Is it? Really? It's the exact same you need a people. Membership, don't you? It's the same. Yeah, yeah. you just yeah. buy yeah. in bulk it. instead. Members only. I don't think yeah, they allow gay people. Only. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, gay people, not the Oklahoma Walmart. Have they? Have they? Do they allow women? Yes. Uh, I think. Oh, they definitely, of course. Yes. Yes. Only with their husbands. Yes. Okay. You have to be with your husband. You have to. They have to sign you up on an account. Right. Yes. Okay. Exactly. They co-sign. Oh, well, yeah. We're in this. I think there's something primal from when I was a kid that I have like an instant reaction. My mom would go in and buy like. 300 pounds of trail mix. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I, I, I love Walmart and like Sam's Club and all of that stuff because like the, the abundance of it all is fascinating to me as well. Like I think it's dope. You go to a store and they have everything and there's so many different brands of like Oreos and cookies yes. and stuff. Like growing up in Turkey, whenever I would come to America, every Sunday, my grandfather and myself, we would go to like the Walgreens, I guess, or equivalent. It was like a, it's a smaller, you know, it's like a Rite Aid, basically. Right. And I'm just imagining little Hassan yeah. excited to go to the Walgreens. <laughs> yeah, no, it was fire. But like the I'm Turkish telling Walgreens? you, that's why when you get, that's, even, even if someone's like, even if someone's like German or French, like I had some French friends like stay with me a while back and like, they had this checklist of places that they wanted to go to. And it was like Trader Joe's, <laughs> CVS. Nice. Like, this is a fascinating trip uh, if, you're, if you're visiting America. Because, like, let's be real. What cultural landmarks are there? I, I What's going on, pause. Austin? What, Austin what just looked I'm so sorry, ladies. And then went, I oh, just ordered fuck. food to my hotel, and I'm not... <laughs> you're not at your hotel. I'm not at my hotel. I hope I have a generous driver. I'm so sorry to derail the conversation. <laughs> I ordered food to my hotel and your reaction to it when you uh, were when you did the lip but, bite, I knew you'd fuck yeah, up. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Continue. I'm so sorry. I've ordered food in Oklahoma City to Florida. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh really? Shit. I've done that before. And it's like, why wouldn't they know? But it's like they won't know. You're the stupid one. Yeah. It's your fault. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. I've no, they tell you. Like it says, you hey, look you very seem far a away from us. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say that to me. Okay, well, you know, that's your fault. Yeah, it is. It's I've actually weird. become the master of tr- when I'm like 30 minutes from home ordering and trying to yes. collide at the same time. That's, oh, yeah. that's a fun game. Do you guys do this where you order food when you're passing the restaurant because you don't want to stop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done that. You've done that? Yeah, yeah like, 100%. You, you know, home from, like for me, I, I do a workout. I'm sweaty. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to break out unless I get in the shower quickly. <laughs> yeah. So I need, I'm passing the Chick-fil-A. And I'm ordering yeah. the grilled chicken sandwich Wait, and the grilled you nuggets. Eat, you so, eat Chick-fil-A? Oh, yeah. Oh, you love no. Chick-fil-A. We, we love Chick-fil-A. That, it's delicious, it's, but you know what my mother calls it? What? 
Hate chicken. It is hate, hate chicken. chicken. That's Jennifer's why it's good, though. That's why it's hate chicken. so <laughs> delicious. <laughs> it's got a secret. It's so yeah. good. They say it's like the German World War II rocket program. Yes. Yes. I think it was the hate. It's like breakup sex. Yeah. Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. And gay people, there's a niche group of gay people, me included, that love Chick-fil-A. Yeah. And I think it's kind of like sticking it to the man. You know what I mean? Like, right. you hate us, but we're going to eat your fucking chicken. <laughs> son of a he he always makes anyway. the, he we're makes the argument that it gives him so much pleasure, so, like, the guy must hate it. Well, no, th I think they're gay. 100%. The well, people no, that are no screaming question. the loudest yeah. are always the hypocrites. Oh, let's talk about the Chick-fil-A employees. I don't know okay. how they are in California, mm -hmm. but in Oklahoma... They are all homeschooled. Yes. All kids. Really? And this is like their big time awesome. to be socialized. Really? And so they're huh. all socialized at Chick-fil-A. They are so fucking happy. It's so nice. not be at home studying IBLP. <laughs> and they are so friendly. It is their pleasure. Uh, and you know that they're finding all sorts of loopholes within the staff mm -hmm. to prevent from having vaginal intercourse. I bet right. they are kinky <laughs> oh, homeschooled 100%. employees at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yes. I have a whole theory And they about start it. at 14 in Oklahoma. Really? Yes. Yeah, we, yeah. Wow. we support child labor of laws. Of course. They Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. the federal minimum wage is seven twenty five in Oklahoma, right? Correct. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like twelve hundred and seventy four dollars I mean, gross that a is month. Insane. Isn't the reputation yeah. of they don't they don't, they don't need more money. They don't need more money. They're 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 learning the value of a dollar by not they you know, not being paid the enough. Isn't the reputation of Chick-fil-A employees that they're like over the top nice? Yeah, yeah. yes, 100%. And those commercials where they're yeah. like, oh, I was having this and this Chick-fil-A employee helped yeah. me. And I, I was stopped like, in for a cop salad and mentioned that I needed a new kidney. And my, my, my kid, that's exactly what <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're kind of like, you don't know whether to just be like, is that bullshit or like fascinatedly and think they're sweet. I've had many good experiences with I did, they have great I've never had a bad service. experience with never, Chick-fil-A. No, never get your order wrong. How do yeah. they vet like that? How do they find? It's yeah. these homeschool kids. It's the homeschool kids people are so <laughs> happy really to be out of the yeah. house. Yeah. Austin is furiously. You can, you can change your address. Austin on, is. On your order. Austin is desperately trying to change <laughs> the address. I'm trying to pay attention and also change the address. Austin, Please. this is cool, unprofessional. Man. Yeah, yes. no, he, this is very. <laughs> unprofessional. This is very unprofessional. Put you up the way that you use your phone, dude. This is this is gay cruise. Austin, <laughs> I know. Um, you have gotten gayer. Yeah, what happened? No, he's limp okay. the phone. <laughs> That's crazy. He's throwing his whole body. I'm so away. proud of you. Where is? We have been his straight gay Sherpas because yes. we are objectively gayer than he is yeah, as yeah. two straight men. Because, yeah. like, he came out of the closet, what, like, three, four years four ago? Years ago. Should have sta stayed yeah. in it, like, yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> just, <laughs> just. Too far from the restaurant. <laughs> you get That's, to pay extra, just right? Get a new yeah. one, Austin. Get a new one. They're going to charge me $50. You're just going to have to eat it. I'm just going to have to eat it. I'm going to have to go get I'm going to have to. You're gonna have to leave the podcast and go to no, the hotel. No, 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 no. It's fine. I'm, okay. I'm, 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 I'll be fine. Just let them. I'm gonna get a new one. Let the food <laughs> sit there. Let the food sit there. I'm so sorry, you guys. Please continue. Please continue. Stress manifests on your face makes me so. I, I've happy. got, I've got a loophole for this. Any, any secrets about Uber Eats? If you. Just say that the order was wrong. They'll give you your no, money back. No, Austin, you, you can't do that on camera. You're a bad guy. You're a bad guy. Yeah. You're going to get comments. I would never do that. <laughs> well, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was saying what you shouldn't do, which I will not say. Yeah. yeah, absolutely I not. I would not be doing that. What no. I was trying, I was trying to You're say. You're going to redirect it to an orphanage. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, there are, yes. In fact, that's where I'm staying. Yeah. You're staying in an orphanage. orphanage. Actually, maybe that's that'd be a weird. weird. That's weird. A little strange. That's yeah. it would not be strange. staying in an orphanage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Now you see why I'm the problem. Yes. I know. I do. Mm. Austin shows I have a home for about peculiar twins. Coming out three years ago. So yeah. how old are you? I'm. Why the delay? Wait, you just admitted that on camera for the first time in your entire professional career. That's true. We should bleep that. Yeah, yeah bleep it out. <laughs> yeah. um, you should. That'd be that'd be funny. Can you flip that out, Marsh? Yeah. It would be <laughs> funny. And he's definitely not worried no. at all. Um, so I'm sorry. Say say again. So, so you came out. <laughs> bleep that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so he's been. <laughs> yeah. Or you have to bleep all. These you don't things. have to bleep all of it because people don't know how to do math. Okay. So don't worry. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I came out at uh that age. And uh, a few years prior, I had sort of explored up until that point. 22 is when I had my first gay experience. Uh, and up until that point, I kind of thought I was a little sexual. 
Really? Right. Yeah, I was. I was like, there was That's no. Desire. I'm definitely asexual. Pops oh, okay. is asexual. Yeah. Oh, I'm awesome. trying to gaslight her into being a lesbian. Right. Oh. She's trying to bring it's just me a pet over. project of so, mine. Y- y- you think it's like a, like a stepping stone into being a lesbian? I do. For me, it was. I mean, not a lesbian. I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> um, the but, furthest. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I, I kind of was like, I don't like. I think I like women. Get an erection. Right. Right. I I had sex with women at one point. Right. It was very women bad. Are great. For, it was, women are great. Yeah. It it was tough. You know, for them. <laughs> um, it was just not go- a good experience. Like it just wasn't good sex, right? Or me, really. And so, anyway, over time, I was just like, I I didn't know how to like. There was just like women, and I knew what was beautiful, but I couldn't establish a type for myself. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, uh, beautiful woman, great. But there's a lot of beautiful people. But we all have, you know. So anyway, o- over time, I realized I just like guys, and right. you know, explored through porn and everything like that, and eventually, um, I explored a lot and then it was in the closet and and eventually i came out the point we were trying to make however is that when he came out of the closet he like his gay experiences flash like him being a gay man was very much limited by the fact that he had been an oregonian for most <laughs> of his life yeah so he had like never actually truly seen gay culture mm-hmm. i guess yep so he was very much he was like a fish out of the water. Mm-hmm. So Will and I, living in West Hollywood, for hetero past, life mates. Yep. Yes. yes. Yep. Um, Will. Will, by the way, is the first one that uh, coined the concept of uh, heterosexual gay marriage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, by the way, did I, you I'm, hear I'm Brian? trying to tell him we could become we could become another tier of celebrity if yeah. we were the first two straight men. Well, Brian, to marry. Brian uh, what's his name? Callan is, is trying to Brian Cranston. Yeah, Brian yeah. Cranston. Brian and, Cranston is trying to do that with Aaron Paul now. Yeah, I think that oh, was. A that. joke. I think that was on dis- disbussing film and not discussing. Oh, okay. So I think that was a meme. But oh, you, I'm saying that idea. we could forge a path. You consider Princess. yourselves hetero life mates for sure. Yes. Yeah, we're non-practicing lesbians. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right. yeah. But, we're non-practicing. Gay yeah, men. yes, yeah. non-practicing. Gay men. I think yeah. we would be happier if we were engaged in holy matrimony. Our wedding would be insane. Yeah, yeah. the fenest. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. So, so how long have y'all been friends? Decade. Yeah, decade plus. It's been a long time. We're old. Oh, you're talking to us about old. <laughs> you guys are not old. We're old. This, this is different. I'm the youngest of them. Are you? Yes. Are you? Yes, I know. Like, actually, oh, yeah, that's you are. not a That joke. is true. I'm yeah. the youngest. Not by a lot, though. By yeah. significant margin. The gayest. Not by a lot. The gayest. That's right. <laughs> the gayest. I mean, He's gayer. definitely not the gayest, but he is now, like, <laughs> well on his way to becoming the gayest. So you were kind of like a granola gay. Yes, very much. Well, I, I was wearing tight pants. Yeah. And like. He looked like an extra from Brokeback. Tight pants. Yeah. T- <laughs> <laughs> or or he, his like. In his, Chelsea boots. Can he you, would wear Chelsea boots all the time. I, I oh, just, my God. And I don't know why they let me get away and with it. And V-necks. Oh. And it was just like, dude, what are you doing? I would I yell at him so, all the time. I was like, Austin, please stop I didn't know fucking what wearing I was this doing. shit. But it's like probably within the last year that my level of fashion is elevated. Yeah, because I've never known a gay man not to have impeccable fashion right. and have everything in place. Yep. But now I do. <laughs> yeah. I found one. <laughs> He's yep. finally like, this is the first he time looks... I've seen you in a fit where I was like, damn, Super that's cute. like a well, great fit. Because in Oklahoma, no, no disrespect. In Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> We have gay people. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but mo- but but they, they hide sometimes, I'm sure. Oh, right? yeah. More, I mean, more in Oklahoma. there's a there's a def. Oklahoma City is a city of a million people. Mm-hmm. And there's definitely like a gay community, mm-hmm. but because it's so evangelical, yes, there's so many people that like go to the pray the gay away camps and hide it from their it's parents. So sick, yeah. You went to one? No, I should though. Uh, oh, no. I, should, I, should I should go, go with that. Stream I should, it. I should I go and stream it. Camera, you should go. Oh my god, you should Covert. be undercover. Yes. 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 Covert pray away the gay camp. What if because it's abuse. You've got to do that. What if it took hold and I actually prayed away? Yeah. And I'm and I came back just half, the just, just halfway <laughs> through your your Mary Queen. Of, you're just all of a sudden like, wait, I love it. Oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> that's what amazing. Happened? Hold on, Will, you're onto something. Even if it doesn't work, let's there, do this. There ain't no way, dog. Yes. There ain't no way we that's can make working. a ton of money, and we I'd be on Fox News. Uh, just oh, where you want to be, be. Yes. exactly. Yeah. I mean. Newsmax, I'm even. Just, yeah, I think News you could Ma- go darker. I cash in. There's a lot of money to be made. Uh-huh. We've always said group. if Hassan wants to ca- cash out, we're going to stick a cowboy hat on him. Oh, and yeah. He's going to do an about face and get on Fox News. I mm-hmm. would cash out. I, I am of the mindset that I am 
infinitely better at being a right wing commentator than every single one of them out there. Maybe with like the exception of Tucker Carlson, because mm. well now he's washed, but like when he was yeah. on Fox News, he was pretty good at at hammering like wasp nationalist talking points. But beyond that, like these guys are not charismatic at all. At they all, no, no way. They they no. got no Riz. No. No. I would yes. kill it as a right wing commentator. You learned what Riz was? Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, you, really? I had to ask. Yeah. How'd nice. you learn? How'd you? Where'd you first hear it? Well, I uh, a friend of ours. We were on a trip. Mm. Her nephew, and he said, "Oh, so and so has no Riz." And I was like, trying to act cool, like I knew what it went. Mm. And then I was like, "What is Riz?" Mm. <laughs> he was like, "You know, charisma." And then, like, literally two days later, when we got home, I read an article. If you have to ask what Riz is, you have none. Mm. And I was like, "Well, that's me." Have no yeah. riz. No riz. Don't worry. The person that wrote that article doesn't have it either. Like they're just, <laughs> once it, once yeah. like slang gets to the New York Times, it's like it's over. Riz. It's just, right. It's we've in already the past. we've already I, established that I it's have no to be longer honest, cool. I like a lot of new slang. Riz just has never Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. I, I haven't used it either. Well, I just It sounds like the yeah. noise a doorstop makes. Riz. I like I just, it. I, I like, the, like mouth the mouth feel, feel of it. I don't. Riz. I like the mouthfeel of it. Rizzed up. I feel like I, if I said it, it just wouldn't look cool. Sometimes, I, back to the Fox, I'll, if I'm watching the news, something like really delicious is happening, yeah. like Republican cannibalism, yes. and it's like such just really salacious yes. and vapid content. I'm like, I'm going to go to the dark side and see what they're saying on yes. Fox. Mm. And how they cover, I agree with you. These are not it factor people. No. They have it. It's so boring, breathtakingly boring to watch, but it's amazing how they have indoctrinated all of these boomers mm. and how pissed yes. off they are all the time. Yeah. Yep. It's unbelievable. But it's so entertaining to watch. It is. I love it doing is. that same yeah. thing. See, when I hate happening. Oh, you, you can't handle it? I can't. It just makes me so fucking mad. I want yeah. to kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think there's a hump. Like, I used to be like that, but then I've watched so much of it, and I look at it from, like, the lens of being fascinated by it more so, because I'm just like, how do you come to these conclusions? Right. Like, yeah. we don't do politics on this podcast, for the record. So this is the most amount of politics we've ever done, really, on this pod. Yeah. But, um, you know, we're making a special exception for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it, I, 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 make a, you know, I, make, I make a whole ordeal out of it. I like to dress up as, a, as what I call a hog. I... <laughs> I Hank released Pecker. merchandise. I have a hog personality by the name yeah. of Hank Pecker. I will. <laughs> and, I, and, early in our friendship, I gave him his white name. Yeah. I, I gave Hank him Pecker. His, Hank Pecker. Parts of his family Pecker. still just call me Hank. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't call me Hank Hassan. Pecker. I bet that's fun. See, sometimes I think I envy it because I'm like, it'd be fun to be that unhinged and crazy. Yes. Yeah. All well, the time and never apologize for it. There's a simplicity to it. Right. right. And I wonder if they're ha some of them are happier. Oh yeah, right. for sure. I feel Being like they're so matter. Dumb, they're, it's just rage. Angry. Some of them, but like some, it's like so. They're yeah. so dumb. If if <laughs> instead are. you it's had to just, go through you know, all the pain of kind of coming out of the closet and yeah. accepting your sexuality, you just blamed Mexicans for that. Yeah, right. it's a much simpler process. Right. I think yeah. they're onto something. Not about <laughs> Mexicans. I'm yeah. not gay. They stole my job. <laughs> uh, I was like, not about Mexicans. <laughs> I, I think one of the my favorite things about Fox News, and this is very, this is this is my tism sparking. Mm -hmm. I, there's something very interesting about like when you go to another country and watch the ads. Mm. There's something amazing about that. Fox News has its own set of ads. Yes. Oh yeah, where yes. it's like yes. everything yes. is like. Are you ready for the market crash? Have you bought 24 pounds <laughs> yeah. of gold? Yeah. Stockpile gold now. And then it's like a it's hearing nuts. aid commercial. <clears throat> and then like life insurance oh, policy. Yeah. And now they have their own yeah. brand of like things that are not woke. Like Daily Wire is doing this as well, where they're just like taking, you know, the regular shaver. But this time it's like, do you hate trans people? Like <laughs> Use this shaver yeah. instead of like the gay one, and then women shouldn't have it's facial hair. It's all this like <laughs> faux alpha male yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Thompson, I always crack up at how they've like whitewashed Trump so much. Like mm. he's, I mean, obviously he's white, but like they make him thin. They Photoshop him. Oh, he yeah. has an AR-15, and it's so homoerotic. Yes, yes. yes. you know, yes. Like, yes. So are you carrying eight boxes of pizza, guys? Yeah, yeah. that was pretty hot. <laughs> He I, basically has a foot long. It's like dog. what they did to Jesus, though. <laughs> they did. Totally. They, it's the exact same they, it's thing. It's so sexual. Yes, it is very sexual. I <laughs> think. I, no, I, it is kind of sexual. No, what are you saying about my Lord? No, I, I've Jesus said this before. Is, they sexualized Jesus. They, yeah, they, they did. did. They Jesus is ripped. Why do they need to 
put like cum gutters on Jesus. I think the reason <laughs> why is because the guys, like all the artists that first depicted him were gay as hell. So they yeah. were like, damn, Jesus is kind of fucking hot. Right. It's true. <laughs> like, it's probably true. Like, have you been to Florence and seen yes. David Mike, yeah. with a teeny weenie? Yeah, the, the, teeny teeny the scale weenie. of that now, is crazy. I, 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 he does have a teeny weenie, but we don't know how it looks hard. Yeah, he's a grower, it, not a show. Right, he could because be. Yeah. I, I, I had this debate because a lot of penises do look very small when they're flaccid. So I had an interesting Don't theory about this. Don't worry, Austin. This. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. No, I, if I, you know anything about the creation of David, uh, the, the church basically commissioned that marble statue, and it was a very, the, the way they commissioned the marble and the way they moved the marble, it came in like a square pillar. And David was originally worked on by another sculptor who had no talent. And the first thing you do is break it down. And he broke it down way too thin. Uh, so then they hired. So the, there wasn't enough for the dick meat. What? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They hired the real baller to come in. But if you look at David, he's all kind of smushed up right. because the pillar was so thin. Maybe there wasn't enough right. column meat I and they to get him a fat I Googled cock. this. During the time period, uh, large penises were not Barbaric. as uh, beloved as oh. they are yeah. now in our vapid modern culture. Yes. They felt like that if you had a teeny weeny, you had a big brain. But you know wow. who's yeah. responsible for the 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 in our society of pe big penises being more renowned? Men, of course, for sure, mm. straight men. I do of like a, I do like a big penis. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I thought you were ace. <laughs> I mean, I have. But you have the past. That's your I am asexual, but if I... Right, that's my exception. It's, it's a, a big, big penis. It's a big how, penis. What, how big are we talking? I mean, I don't know. We're all out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you lost and, us and, and, <laughs> I like the girth matters. Oh, that's the girth? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> she did this. Yeah, like, but, I mean, pops. Girth. That's pretty good. That's pretty good dick. I mean... Yeah, I like. I think you, I think you got to go sport dick. Sport, I don't sport think dick. you can go too big. Okay. I don't think you can go too small. Sport you dick. have to have a sport dick size. Okay, so tell me about that. What's I think a sport, a sport dick? dick size would be probably six inches mm -hmm. and maybe about like this. That's good. That's if it's too big, <laughs> well, if it's guys, too big, hello. then it can be limiting you, you, as you the go. receiver. Yeah. Well, as yeah. the receivers, yep. as you know, yep. Yep. are you a bottom? I'm a top. Oh, okay. But did you assume I was a bottom? It's okay. I, I never get that, but that's okay. Well, I just assume that maybe every now and then you yeah, might have to take one no. in the assumption. relationship. No, it's a good he, assumption. He failed, he failed booty boot camp. I did. He can't even do it. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. He yeah. can't do it. He is a selfish top. Uh, this is <laughs> selfish is, top. I'm a selfless top. He's a selfish top. He's I'm not a, a service top. top. He, he doesn't even about have that. sex He's with He's essentially a straight man who fucks gay men. That's true. No, there, there, there's a rumor that they have that he has perpetuated that says I'm a selfish top. He is. Not, uh, I've not perpetuated. He has not been in the bedroom True. with but me. But you're not a bottom. No, I've never bottomed before. But most of the men that I sleep with tend to not want to top me. Usually, that's one thing I really admire about the gay community. Mm. So I went to Gay Ski Week in Aspen a few <laughs> years awesome. ago, and I got on my gay friend's grinder, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh. "Can I?" Can I work this for you? And yeah, he was yeah. like, yes. And it's just amazing how quickly you get oh, yeah. to the nut cutting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How Done. big? Are you a top? Are you a bottom? It is just completely, everything yep. is completely handled. Where in the straight world, you have these mating rituals yes. mm -hmm. that you have to go through. Grinder yeah. is to Tinder as like Playmobil is to Lego. It's just a much simpler... Right. right. It's like whole, yes, <laughs> yeah. no. Let me see your ass. Well, that's great. And Let's then talk. it was like, this person is 100 yards from you. And yeah. so I'm telling my friend, I'm like, Harris, Harris, they're right over here. So we yeah. start walking. I'm like, that's him. It was so fun. Yeah. And Why I had, can't like, we do that as straights? I know. Why can't we figure it's that out? It's too complicated. Just you just can't. No, it's too complicated. It's too complicated. You should create yeah. an app for that. There's too much going on. Sport women, fuck? women, yeah. we require more. Yeah. yeah. We require a lot more than just there's also, that. There's also an element of danger, too. Like, I feel like, you know, you don't know what this guy's going to be like. He yeah. might get violent. Maybe that's, you don't want that's it. That's the hot part. Maybe <laughs> you don't want it, like, halfway through, I feel like. That's and most then, of Grinder. Okay, well, that's, that's see, that's what I'm saying. Men operate with a different but there, speed. There's people on Grinder, okay, that will, that this is their thing. <clears throat> They'll blindfold themselves and send addresses to people. Yeah blindfold them give them access to their home for people to come have sex with them cataclysmically horny and then leave <laughs> without ever seeing their face without knowing who this. they are down it abysmal all. 
It's and fascinating. These, these things happen on Grinder. I know. Anonymous. Completely anonymous. You guys, hookups. that's hot. I've always had a lot of gay friends, but my week that I spent at Gay Ski Week, I was like in the trenches on the front lines mm. of all of this. And it's amazing the stories they tell me. Like one of my friends on Grinder uh -huh. ends up in some white trash park. Yeah. Like outside of Oklahoma City, mm. and there is a glory hole. Oh my god. And he gosh. walks into this bathroom in this park, and the guy's like grunting over here, over here. Go over. There's a cutout where the penis is, passes a condom, they do the deed, leaves, they never see each other. Full blown glory hole in the buckle of the Bible belt Trump that country. Is that right. is sometimes, sick. sometimes you gotta get a nut off. God. Yeah. Yeah. I, I always I say, it. and I've maintained this, if there was a once a day prescription pill that I could take to be gay. It'd be done. We've done a sketch on uh, this. We'd be done. It'd be done. Yeah. Homosil. Homosil. I'd take it every day. Yeah. We've often thought being a lesbian would be much easier, easier. for us. And I think lesbians are such an organized, ambitious yeah. group of mm -hmm. people. They really should rule the country. Mm. Yeah. I agree. I, I mean, or at least lesbians be like have their shit together. And sure. way more than gay men. You know what I mean? Yep. I feel like they'd be really good running our natural. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. 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 I would agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> Girl autism combined with lesbians. Yeah. I don't have many lesbian in, friends. I'd like some more. Unstoppable. We have a Can lot. you be my fake lesbian friend? Yes. yes. You're non practicing yeah. lesbian yes, friends. Non you found it. I love that. LA at our show last night, there were so many power lesbians there. Yeah. Mm. You know, in Oklahoma City, we have lesbians, but you don't really have like power lesbian couples mm. where yeah. both of them are so incredibly ambitious and successful. And you see them and you're like, they're. Power lesbians. Yeah, they're going camping yeah. this weekend. Yeah, I yeah. really envy. Right. Them. I envy them. That's it because they're going to have they're they're some you know they have they're female but then they have this MacGyver shit going on. Mm. Yes. I played pickleball with all these lesbians and you wouldn't believe their tool sheds mm. and their equipment that they have like to mow their yards and yep. edging and all of this mm. shit. That they got they a have. tool shed for work and then they got a tool shed for fuck. That's <laughs> right. I had a lesbian security guard. Oh, really? nice. She was a fucking badass. I like she that. She was taking out people that didn't even deserve it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like just that. Walking, Try me, make a hole, make a hole. Because Twitch does this thing. Um, so a lot of us are Twitch streamers by original, where we originally. A lot of all, us. all three of us. All three of us. So we go, <laughs> except for Austin, it, he it, doesn't really stream. It, I don't really stream anymore. He but doesn't really work no. at all, actually. Just vacation. Yeah, I do. Twitch, TwitchCon, they give us security guards, but a lot of times these security guards don't understand that we're not Brad Pitt. Yeah. Right. Right. And so they're like, we're walking through like a Las Vegas casino. <laughs> where we need security at like the convention because there's a lot of people that know us. Nobody knows us, but right. they're like moving people speak, out of the way. Speak for the yourself, casino. dog. <laughs> but people know him. At least he thinks so. But um, uh -uh. y'all need to explain to pumps what Twitch is. Right. I'm not. I'm. I know it's like live. Mm. Yep. It's good. Good start. <laughs> it's YouTube, it's but for live streaming. Yeah, like that's, all and are you playing games? No. What? Yeah, people play games. I don't. I, I, you can. That is the quick definition. The way that I like to describe Twitch is some point in the last 10 years, people have consumed content in a new way in which now they want two streams of content. Right. If you've ever been around like a teen who's watching a movie while he's on his phone. Right. Right. It's kind of like this uh, neurodivergent brain where it's like they need constant impulse. So I think a lot of our audience are second screeners where they will be working at a job or they will be studying for school or they will be cooking or something. And we are a live podcast that they put on almost as like a security blanket mm -hmm. on their other monitor. And they can talk Project. to the live podcast yes. as well. It's like yeah. having a friend in the living room with you. That's what's cool about it is the, all the interaction. Yeah. I yeah. saw it on my credit card statement for years because I have two sons. One <laughs> is 21 years old, goes to Syracuse studies journalism there the other, sure. other one's a junior in high school and i would see all this twitch and i was like what is the twitch charge Who do they they're watch? like it's a Did gaming thing it's on. he knew that's how like <laughs> we didn't know who you were and then you like twitched us or whatever it's called streamed us mm. and my son in syracuse is like mom um hassan piker is talking about you and i was like okay who's that so then i go to your twitch so awesome and i click on your twitter and you two are watching this reality show of him and what? i think it's the two of you maybe you were there of oh, penis yeah. shrinkage oh. and measuring that was me. Yeah, i watched was it me. for an 
hour. Yeah. It was so fantastic. Yeah. I was just like, and then Your I'm thinking, coverage of Dick and I'm thinking, was so <laughs> I'm thinking about like, okay, so how long has, have Dylan and Roman been doing this? So they've been watching the Dick measuring shit since they were probably around eight. With so you thought guy. that's yeah. exclusively what we were covering? No, then Dylan explained to me. Yeah. He was like, no, it's like video gaming, blah yeah. blah. And so then I. I understood. Mom. Kind of what no. it was. I, I, I describe what I do to a lot of people, uh, at least in the media and traditional spaces, is like basically an interactive Rush Limbaugh, but also not on drugs and not <laughs> and and not a you really need total to fix free. That. I have a great Rush Limbaugh story. Oh, oh really? Okay. Do you yeah. Rush Limbaugh? Okay. So my husband is in recovery mm -hmm. and he went to rehab five times. Mm -hmm. First rehab stint was at this bougie ass place called the Meadows. So oh, I go, I think I've heard of this. Place. So I go out to the Meadows, and this is like probably early two thousands. And I can't. You have to keep anonymity. But I walk in and I see L M dot supermodel. I can't say the last name because I'm respecting her anonymity. And okay. I'm like fucking furious. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm at home with this baby, and you're at fucking meadows working on little josh with a fucking supermodel go fuck yourself i was furious yeah. right anyway so he gets sober two days before he leaves it hits that rush limbaugh has this opioid problem yeah and he is heading straight to the same place and so i'm on the phone with josh like everything's a lot better at this point like it's amazing what 45 days delay can your do. recovery <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> stay and then of course you know he gets out and and he's still every bit <laughs> of a repulsive son of a bitch that he could possibly be. But no, there was, he, he Josh saw him. Like he was on the intake having to go to detox as yeah. Josh was leaving. Yeah. Well, oh wow. Yeah. His situation. Yeah. He was a major opiate, uh, opioids, uh, addict. I think. Yeah. Yeah. He's a uh, interesting fella, but like, I obviously, I mean, as much as I despise these figures, I can also in my mind, like Alex Jones, for example, in my mind, I, I also can like, kind of look at it as like pure entertainment not to say that like i separate the art from the artist at all because like the impact is still gross and and awful but as a as a uh, streamer broadcaster myself like i do i do sometimes look at that i feel like there's uh there's some takeaways that you can get from them because like alex jones um there's a reason why he was in a scanner darkly and uh, right. Did I say that right? Will? Yes. Like all these, uh, all these flicks early on in the, in the nineties and early two thousands as like the conspiracy figurehead, uh, because he is a uniquely entertaining individual. It's just, I've always maintained the position that like we as a society are not, uh, able to look at it and derive enjoyment and entertainment out of it because we take it seriously and we go, oh, this guy is like actually speaking truth to power. So, I'm gonna attempt to say something intelligent. What, go ahead. <laughs> Do it. I'm gonna say that having a serious debate with these people gives them credibility. So taking the power away from it and looking at them as a, as, as a, as a circus, which is what they are, uh, sort of uh, takes away the, yeah. the, any sort of credibility or, it or invalidates seriousness them, and yeah. invalidates right. everything that they're talking about. So I think that, that and that's the way I, I've I've watched Hassan. I've been I was a fan of Hassan. I've been a huge fan of Hassan, and I and through watching his broadcast, that's sort of I used to be the same way. Like my mom is this way. She watches Republicans and oh well, you know, and she tries to have arguments. I'm like, mom, right. why are you arguing with this? Just watch and laugh because it's so stupid. You can't argue. Like, do you hear what they're saying? Yeah. Like, here's you know? here's the one thing I'll say. Like when you live where you all live, you can sit back and you can watch it and it can be entertaining to mm -hmm. you because you're so detached from it. Yeah. Where we live, I mean, people that live around us think the earth is 6,000 years old. Oh. Yeah. And when these people speak, it is like methamphetamine to them. Mm -hmm. It is. And they take it so seriously. So we, on the way here, there was a news report that came up that a Oklahoma state politician is passing an anti-furry right. legislation. Like, yeah. Serious awesome. as a heart attack. That if yeah. a child shows up to a school in Oklahoma City, that they will call the parents for animal control. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. in the law. Legislation. Animal, <laughs> animal control. Animal control. Yeah. <laughs> if a child it's shows up dressed as a cat <clears throat> to school, and I'm like, what do you care? In the 80s, everybody dressed like fucking Ozzy Osbourne, and nobody yeah. gave a fuck, you know? 
That's animal awful. control. Animal and that's control. Awful, this like, is a what fake it's... story too. Like, right. It, it's a not myth. a real thing. But the Joe Rogan elevated this like complete nonsense, uh, fabricated story. <laughs> And made it like a real thing oh, so in the conservative no. circles. Oh, it's not real. No, 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 no. The the bill the is bill real. Is real. The bill is real. But the origination the, of the bill comes from this idea that like it's transphobic. It's supposed to be transphobic, but like they there was this <laughs> lie being told about Pennsylvania schools, I I think, where they were putting kitty litter. Right. In the in the so classroom, so a teacher could use the litter box, right? So, no, so the yeah. so students, that, and they right. and they were saying like, oh, it's because students are coming in and saying I'm cat gender or whatever, which is not <laughs> right. like a real like no one's doing that. No okay? one's doing that. <laughs> um, and if they are doing that, they're fucking children. Like, it, it, calm down. Nobody's like literally uh, is allowing kids to piss in a in a kitty litter. Exactly. Turns out the real reason for why they have kitty litter in the school classrooms was actually because of school shootings. Yeah. That's the reason why they have kitty litter in the classrooms because they use stop that to cover the uh, stop the bleeding. That's um, it's a, it's a part of the survival <laughs> kit that like American schools have. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is so much. <laughs> well, I want y'all to yeah. know that in Oklahoma they've cracked the case and they're putting an end to it. Right. And they're going to call animal control. Well, that it's something about finally the fact <laughs> that finally the finally. voice of reason. Yeah, schools God. are finding thrifty ways to pack bullet holes yeah. <laughs> is instead of banning yeah. guns. I remember the first time because when we grew up in Oklahoma, you had a tornado drill and a fire drill. Yeah, and you did that a couple of times mm -hmm. a year, and it was a big circle jerk, and everybody mm -hmm. got in a line, yep. and everybody's yep. dicking off. Yep. So I picked up my son Roman a couple of years ago from school, and he's probably in like eighth grade, and he got in the car, and he was like. Yeah, we did our drills today. And I was like, oh, tornado and fire. And he was like, no, the active shooter drill. And yeah, I was just sad. like, my heart fell to my stomach thinking about like, that is a real thing that kids have to be prepared for so that we can placate the fucking gun lobby. Yeah. It's yeah. Un yep. and, and then and it is especially maddening for me because we live in this state where everybody's so pro-life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. But how they have braided Jesus and assault rifles. It's, it's insane. It's insanity. Mm. I can't believe it. The and bigger the the bigger the Christian, the bigger the gun nut. Yeah. Typically ten times out of ten. Yep. So crazy. That's a lot. I've been to Diagram. a I've been to the to the uh the Oklahoma uh gun show. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. When I was in uh when I was at OKC, one of the times, never seen so many swastikas. Oh Shit. really? I, oh yeah. They got like obviously like they have the Ironically, they have the Confederate flag everywhere, which I'm like, you're Oklahoma. Right. Hello. <laughs> like <laughs> half, like the, that little that little spot that you have in your state is directly because you were not doing the whole slavery thing. And Texas was like, we want slavery so bad that we will give up a piece of our territory to Oklahoma. Right. So <laughs> like or, or, you know, inevitably it became Listen, Oklahoma. We're ranked 50th in education. Hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you but, really? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, it's it's. I need to go there. It's dire. Yeah. However, very cool sewer caps. <laughs> sewer caps. You guys caps? know that? No. In OKC, the 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 manhole covers that you have for your sewage system actually has, uh, you are here and an entire grid of the Oklahoma City, and it shows you exactly where huh. you are on the map. I'm surprised. I Austin did not wasn't know that. More interesting. I'm so In sorry. Manholes. I need to. I need to <laughs> apologize. I'm having. I had an ex existential existential crisis with my food delivery. Yeah. And they. I. They. I had to look. manually get the. Oh. The look. Oh, oh wow. Covers of a city map on it with a white dot showing exactly where you are. In the I city. had no idea. I had no yeah. idea. That's. I'm fascinated cool. by Oklahoma. Oklahoma has a lot of uh, fun, cool stuff. Like uh, Governor Mary Fallon, former governor of Oklahoma. Um, instituted a a national oil prayer day <laughs> but, but it was woke because they because she said muslims can join as well oh uh, did yeah they, did well they have... she knew that they're like a divining rod for oil right yeah they're right yeah, like, muslims, they <laughs> count got oil. 2x for oil yeah. did yeah, they yeah. did they get, did people have a problem with that um the muslim part they didn't give a shit <laughs> right like, as long as like it's oil they don't give a shit in oklahoma well i was but, just curious if they were um if they raised hell over that. yeah no 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 they they were praying for oil brother everybody right. wants that which but of course oklahoma uh the the fracking industry uh is the reason why oklahoma now has like earthquakes or massive amounts of earthquakes yeah, right we just had like last week there were some yeah. big ones like because 19. of fracking yeah oh 19 in yeah. one night did, did you did you guys uh do you do the earthquake drills at your school? No, no these not just yet. started. These no. are new. Uh, yeah. New earthquakes. From the fracking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, at a certain oh. point, if you're so into God and like, especially evangelical Christians, like, 
they just don't put two and two together that like God is furious. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like the God is not enjoying the things you're doing, it yeah. seems, because he's punishing well, you. Well, you know, God tested Job. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. Ladies, what do you want to talk about? We've been running our stupid ass yeah. mouths. We've been talking. Room. Just mansplaining. I, okay, I want to talk. I think Austin, Seth, our, one of our producers, mm. who watches all of your stuff, <clears throat> perhaps kind of flirts with Karenism. Okay, Karenism. Ooh. Mm. And it's my understanding you that you kind of flirt with mm. Karenism. Oh, and here's, oh, yeah. here's, here's my thing. Mm. Like, <clears throat> obviously, there is this, you know, a Karen, and you think white women that look like us, <laughs> potentially... No, you guys racist. look too good. Karen's, Karen's have like a, a tackiness to them that oh, you don't yeah. possess. Oh, thank, you thank you. I think you, I mean, you well, don't have the trademark Karen hair. No. I, don't well, I can you... get it. I love a good Texas hair I tell pageant her all hair. The time. I'm like, do not Sarah Palin your hair. Yeah. <laughs> she will wrap that shit up. And I'm like, do not Sarah Palin it. But anyway, at first <laughs> I was like pumps because we'd go out to eat. And she's like, this queso is a little warm. I'm going to take it right back up there. And she'd grab the queso and march up and mm. have them reheat it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'll just look at the waitress and I'm like... And then I realized you can use a friend that is a Karen mm. for your good. Mm. So now that we're traveling on tour, anytime I want somebody to be an asshole, <laughs> I, and I say, hey, Karen, oh, I'm yeah. sweet yeah. about it. Yeah, she Karen's up. We she do that with Karen's Austin all the time. Up. Yes, it's kind of great to have a Karen. Yeah. See, that's, but see, the key distinction, and I feel like we're of the same. I knew it from the moment we met. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it from the moment we met. We're one of the same. The key is being nice about it. Absolutely. Right? Advocating for yourself, going to the waitress, not being like, bitch, my queso's cold. Right. What the fuck? Fuck you. It's more like, hey, I'm so sorry. I know sorry. this isn't That's your That's exactly. Fault. I'm so sorry. I know this isn't your yes. fault. Would you mind heating this up for me? Right. I know I'm a pain in the ass. I know ass. I'm a pain in the butt. Would you mind? And I don't, most, I worked in the service industry briefly. So did I. I did yeah. too. And I was, I didn't, I didn't mind when people approached it like that. It's when people are like, this is fucking cold. This is ridiculous. Let me right. talk to your man. Yeah, that sort of so that's how I approach things. I believe though that so my the, the core foundation of my I call myself a white hat Karen because I think it's like I, I'm a Karen for the good of the people. Right. <laughs> right? That's what I am. Yeah, see? So I knew it. I knew it. See? Um, Karenism for good. Exactly. So my belief is that when you pay for a good or a service, you pay for that good or service, you should receive that good or service what you paid for. And if you receive any less than that, you should be compensated. So let's say a hotel or whatever. You show up at a hotel. The experience is awful. You didn't get what you paid for. Then I think that there should be some sort of compensation in that. And you should handle it in a respectful way. But the reason I think it's a care of the people is corporations, airlines, hotels, whatever, they'll take advantage of the consumer. They do. Sure. Always. Because they assume that the consumer isn't going to fight back. They, they, they'll, they'll cancel your flight. They won't give you any. And, and they'll, they'll try to put you on another, uh, another flight without giving you any compensation. They'll, they'll do all sorts of things, and nobody will advocate for themselves. And so I believe that you should advocate for yourself. You should get what you pay for and stick it to the corporations. That's, and that's a very leftist ideal, and Hassan's <laughs> been struggling to come along with it. Me, I no, no. I, I think I, it's, you're the better it's, business It's like girl. a really <laughs> tight rope. It teeters. You could hear if you just lean into a little bit. Is it entitlement? Mm -hmm. There, you know, it, it it kind of gives that vibe a little bit. But I do believe that corporations, like with all of this tip and everything, especially, yeah. it's just consumer exploitation. Yeah, because they don't want to pay people a livable yes. wage. So now we're tipping at the self checkout, yeah. right? And all oh, this gosh. fucking crazy shit. Yeah, and it, it it is tipping at the self checkout. Oh yeah, yes. oh, yeah. My cleaners what? wanted to tip the other day. My fucking cleaners. Yeah, like you witched and the got dry off the hanger. Yeah. Oh, the dry cleaners. Yeah. The yeah. dry cleaners. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Not, not the, the yeah. self-checkout yeah. is wild. Right. Yes. Oh. I was ordering something online. I got suckered in. I think I'd had a couple of melatonin and I was suckered into some <laughs> some Instagram app. Is that and legal it, in Oklahoma? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we legalized weed. Really? We, they we put the vote to the people. And yeah, yeah, we legalized oh, sure. what, what's marijuana really interesting restrictions. about that, though, is that don't you guys still have the weird, like, liquor laws, though? Like, the yes. dry county uh, stuff? Like, you can't have cold uh, you beer? You have to be 21 years old to sit at a bar. Right. You have yeah. to, like, I couldn't walk up to a bar if you wanted to just sit at a bar and watch a basketball game with my 17 year old son. Do you guys have ABC son. also? Yes. 
Oh, okay. Wait, in the state what? of Oregon, alcohol beverage be- control. Alcohol oh, yeah. beverage commission. Yeah. 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 State of Oregon, you, you can't sit at a bar as a, as a kid. Yeah. Know, that, that, that I've heard in other places too, but what I was talking about specifically is like, I think there's like weird rules around like liquor stores have to close at a certain hour. Yes. Yeah, they have church hours. Yeah, they have church, they have church hours. hours. Church no also- Sunday. They No, they just started opening on Sunday. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We oh. just had a big thing happen in the last like two years. Before you could only buy liquor at the liquor store. You right. couldn't go to like a Walgreens right. and get a bottle of vodka. Yeah. Oregon's the same way too. Oh really? Yeah. Sorry. That surprises I, I don't want to get too far. You were on yeah, melatonin you were, yeah, and you yeah. bought something. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes. I bought something and then I'm checking out and it was like, would you like to tip the person that packages? It was like some racket toothpaste or something that my son wanted, this purple toothpaste. Yeah. And he's like, Mom, order this for me. So I'm on there ordering it. I'm like, tip the person that boxes it. And then, you know, as somebody who were, I was a waitress in college, it's Mm. like you, it puts you in this moral dilemma because you're like, I don't want to be the dick that doesn't, you know, tip these people, but also fucking pay your people. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's what I see it as charity. I think that's what it is, which I don't have a problem with. I'm very fortunate. So I, I still juice it up. Like I rack it up every time, but I do understand that it comes absolutely from a place of like corporations not wanting to pay their employees and trying to add on additional costs to the consumers in like a sneaky way. And the inconsistency of that is sold to every American as like, well, you know, you, know, you might make even more money this way. And some corporations like Uber in, in some parts of the country, I'm not entirely sure on what they're doing right now, but I believe it might be DoorDash or Uber that has started taking some of the tips or lowering the actual uh, wages down and like taking some of the tips uh, that you thought you were giving to the to the dasher. Uh, and that's, that's bullshit. Wild. That is bullshit. Yeah. We They're had, like legally trying to do this thing that like restaurants used to do all the time and still do to this day. Not to flex, but we had AOC on our pod that's on a, Tuesday. <laughs> not to flex. No big that's deal. That's pretty impressive. No big deal. You also had Neil deGrasse Tyson on. We did. Not that's a big deal yeah, at all. also a huge deal. Um, that's yeah, why this is that. That's why this are. is that much more humiliating yeah. for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are really falling off. What's going on? Yeah. Here we are on the Fear and Podcast. But we yeah. were we were talking to her about tipflation, and she said, you know, a lot of waitresses. And I remember when I waited tables, you made like two dollars an hour, mm. so you really needed that fifteen to twenty five yeah. percent yep. tip. And because now it's tipflation is everywhere, it's damaging the people who are making well below minimum wage that rely on those tips because people feel over tips, so they're tipping less in general across the board. Interesting. People are tip fatigue. Yeah. That's right. Fatigue. Tip fatigue. Yeah. Great one. Yeah. I there's a pet peeve of mine. Mm. When the you know the suggested tips that come up on the mm. yes, if that starts at like twenty five percent, I get really upset. Really? Do you <laughs> throw You got to give me the option. I'll give you the 25%. But Don't we can't Sam. start there. Yeah. Give me right. the 15%, yeah, then yeah, 20, yeah. Yes. then 25. You want to yes. feel like you want to feel like a big dick. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yes. Be like, I like look when at- it has the little parentheses like good service, great service. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, yes, wow. <laughs> and you're like, I'm not a tight ass, but yeah. if they start at 25. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, is tell kind me of how fat my cock is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy how 10% is an insult? Yeah, like bad service, ten yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's crazy. It's gonna get. It's gonna get worse. I mean, as as look, everyone is penny pinching. Everyone is cost cutting. Everyone is corner cutting. So you know, this is another byproduct of that. Well, I'm not. I'm tipping the same. I'm proud of you, man. What, and how would you tip if um, you were ordering something online like me? Uh, I don't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I didn't do it. No, I was just like, this is if, too far. if I can't see them, it's a little dicey. Well, and then you, you know, one thing so that like Uber East drivers are like, no, no, dying. Uber East drivers get my tip. 100%. Specifically, the Uber East driver that I just talked about earlier, <laughs> he, I manually, the, the Uber wouldn't let me change the location. I texted him. He, he did it himself. He oh, that's great. Manually. How do you feel about you go to Walgreens or a CBS? This mm-hmm. is something we talk about on our podcast a lot. Mm-hmm. Forced philanthropy. So you're uh, at the yeah. checkout, uh, and it comes up to save the babies, I save the dogs. I hate Fucking it. hate it. I mean, had it. I still give it. It is such that. bullshit. I still give. It, 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 no, I don't. I don't. Do? I don't. Don't do it. Do not do it. I do it. Because don't do here's it. the deal. You, you, how are you vetting? Like, we were at a Halloween costume shop buying these, like, naughty nun costumes for Halloween. And as we go to check out, the cashier's like, would you like to donate for the babies? Right. And... I'm like, fuck those first, babies. Yeah, fuck first babies. I said no. And then she was like, okay. Like, she did not expect my boundary. She's like, what about if I round up? It was like $100.44. She goes, what if I round up to 101? And I was just like so cornered. 
I was like, I'll do it. So then Pumps and I get no. in the car. We, no, we, did. we fell. We thought about turning around and going back. We been, for 49 oh, cents. We were like, we're going back and get that 49 no, no cents. We, complete, we got completely unhinged. And then we started having an imaginary conversation with the gal, like what we'd really want to say to her, like, when's the last time you had an abortion? Have you ever taken... Plan B. Do you well, have, how do we know this is going to the babies? Yeah. Are these babies Trumpers? Yeah. Are these babies? <laughs> are they, yeah. What are the vibes of the babies? Right. right. Exactly. Maybe they deserve to be aborted. Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying. What's you know, your no. STD record? Yeah. The way I view it, and maybe this is strange, like sometimes when I go into like temples or I'm walking by a fountain, I'll throw money in there and I don't give a fuck where that's going. That's how I view Right, well, you think you get a wish. Didn't you learn that growing up? If you throw well, a penny into the fountain, wish. you get a wish. You can make a wish on your you're just, you're just uh, philanthropic at heart. Uh, yeah. I'm very one, philanthropic. one thousand percent against that, specifically because, look, I mean, I've raised three million dollars for various different causes this past year, and um, you know, these are all things near and dear to me, including oh, I work a with a lot of, uh, I work with a lot of uh, the Rio Grande. <laughs> yeah. Rio Grande Valley, like abortion uh, providers and, and things of that nature specifically as well. And one of the things I never do is that, that, that thing, the roundup or any of that, because why am I fundraising for a corporation that's going to take that revenue and be like, look at how wonderful we are exactly. and how much money we donated. It's like, bitch, donate it on your own. Right. And also, or don't even donate it to the causes just shave off like a couple million dollars of lobbying funds that uh, go directly into the pockets of like Republican and Democratic uh, uh, politicians that end up deregulating uh, the economy. Sir, this is a target. You know, I, that's, it, I never say that to like some random employee, but also like that is definitely my mentality on it. Like I'm not, I'm not here to, help your you massage well, and your they get a tax, tax break they get a tax break for it <laughs> yeah have yeah. you ever been to the the places where you you select the thing and then they write your name on a star yes we have that note and i've done that and i'm just like oh shit you're yeah, a sucker yeah. no you're I a sucker. Hit, but i hit the one dollar and i'm just like they're like no. here's a star and the sharpie and i gotta write the name and they're sticking it up and i'm a hero <laughs> no. you're grandstanding <laughs> and i yeah. No, I yeah. just that. I can't be a hero. No, tonight. but it's Sorry. a dollar, and I'm sure somebody. I just didn't feel like I deserved the star. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So for your whole dollar. Yeah, yeah. for my whole dollar. That somebody else donated a lot. Like they felt like they were being great, and they're a star and celebrity. And you're right next to him mm -hmm. with your dollar know, donation. Yeah, literally <laughs> right up there. I think there's yeah. a problem with that. No, yeah, tipping I've had culture's it. out of hand. No, not for me. The the. Tipping is fine. I don't mind it. Donating obviously. to a charity is donating. Ahead. Donating to a charity on behalf of like Target. I'm never doing that. Mm. Yeah, never. I'm never ever doing that. Fuck that. Um, okay. Well, I think we've done about an hour. So we're about uh, to flip over. We're not. Yeah, we are not going to be shooting our normal paywalled episode. We'll probably shoot that at a later date. Mm. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> We are going to be filming the I've Had It podcast. Yay. We're so excited. Right here. Yay. Flip we, the scripts. Yeah. We flip the script, flip the script. And, and we talk about. I like how they're going from renowned astrophysicists <laughs> to guys who talk about cock. Yeah, or yeah. AOC. <laughs> to, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. About dick a lot. We probably are better at talking about cock because we devolve into talking about cock uh, all us, the time. Us too. Always. You don't want yeah. this smoke. We every, talk about a lot of dick. Every yeah. podcast yeah. episode, we start serious. We're like totally beating a dead yeah. horse, and then it devolves into... Me I'm happy playing we're again. not the only ones. No, we, we need always you to talk to, to our other co-hosts, Cutie Sexier. Cinderella, and tell her that there's some merit in yeah. devolving up to talk yeah. about Dick yes. her yeah. episode. Yes, it's Thank good. You. It bonds Thank people. You. We feel seen. We feel, yeah. seen. we feel seen. We feel seen. Everybody likes Dick. Like, <laughs> especially straight guys. We love talking we love about it. Dick. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I was fascinated when I watched you guys live stream the whole, uh, I told her about it. I was like, they did watch this whole like penile measuring thing. And the guys that did that, I was so impressed. I knew one of them. And how yeah. did you? Did yeah. you? Yeah, it was one. It was a porn star. Did you top him? No, I didn't top him. <laughs> He's just checking. Is that yeah. the one who no, sucks his own? Yes. I, yeah, he He's at my gym. Penis. I see him all the time. Oh my god! He's my buddy him? now. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's great. Isn't he also a Hasanabi head? Yeah. yeah. He's a Hasanabi head. Yeah, yeah. He can suck his own. Very impressive. Is he disjointed? I don't know. I think he's just have fat. He's also very, very fat. Very flexible and very fat. He didn't win though. He didn't win. I was shocked. That is shocking. shocking. Because it, it, when you have a fat cock, 
<laughs> when you have a, when you have a fat one, sometimes the length you, it, the length is lost on you. Yeah. Ah. Sometimes it could appear the girth. It could when it's girthy. Sometimes it looks a little longer than Optical. it actually is. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. On that note, ladies, where can people find you? Yep. Thank yes. you so uh, much for coming on. Okay, so. Our main Instagram, TikTok, Twitter is at I've Had It Podcast. It's sure. run by a millennial. It is an A plus feed. Amazing. My personal is probably about a C minus. It's at Ms. Welch, M I Z Z Welch. Pump says is maybe a D. A D. I just have been on social media for a year. At pumps, pumps, pumps. Love but for that. like the good content, follow at I I've like Had It Podcast. The, I like the handle though, pumps, pumps, pumps. Pumps, pumps, pumps. pumps, pumps. pumps. It's good. It's Hell good. Yeah. We're, I'm going to follow all of them. And we'll see you on the next one. Yes. Peace.